Welcome, Bilal. You played Olga Giria and you won today. Tell us something about the game. I think it was a quite good game for me. I played uh, my preparation and I got a better position after the opening. And uh, this end game was easy for me to play. Yeah, yeah. So it was a smooth game for you. Uh, yeah. Fairly smooth game. Well, let's get down to the game and have a look. Okay, Bilal, well, having, having a look at your game here, and of course, what you do now in this Queen's Gambit declined is G4. G4, yeah. Which I'm thinking of calling G for Gibraltar because this is the fashionable move here in the Battle of the Sexes. Of course, you played it in a different position. Yeah, two times in this tournament. But this one is, is much more orthodox or it's well known at yeah, least. Yeah. And has this G4 in the Nimzo was uh, Novotli, yeah. This one is new. This one is, is not. Uh, yeah, sorry, this isn't yeah. you. This is this is a well known, well known which you yeah. might play again at a later date. Okay. Yeah, actually, I prepared this G4 against Uska two de two rounds ago. Okay. But she didn't play this line. Right. So I keep it for. So Yuri Huska was lucky. You, yeah. She got away with that one. Okay. So what happened next? She played C5. C5. Yeah. Human move, I think. Yeah. And uh, I took here. Mm -hmm. And here, only move is H6. Really? Yeah. Or she, or she has to know knight d7. Yeah. But it's quite difficult, knight d7, because I can take on d5 and she has to sacrifice the pawn. Right. Can take here. I think she can take here, I think. It's quite complicated. Yeah. Or she has to play h6. Or h6, okay. So in that position. h6, yeah. h6 to stop Because this. g5 is coming, like, in the game. Sure. But just playing castles is... Castle, yeah. Here I'm already better, yeah. G4, okay. So this, this is already known, this, the fact that Castles is not good in this position. Yeah, it's not good, yeah. It's yeah. the mistake, I think. Surprising. Okay. Yeah. Mighty four. Take, take. Take, take. Here I knew that the best move is E3. And mm -hmm. I can take or play Knight E4. I think I, I had the choice. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Or I can take also, yeah. Yeah. But it's much better for me already. Still better for you. Yeah. What's that based on? Why is it better for you? Because I have one pawn up. One pawn up and you yeah. that's it basically, isn't it? Yeah. And I can play bishop g2 and my PCs are more yeah. active. Yeah. Yeah. So she played knight a6 and I think I had to play bishop g2. And now she plays yeah. e3. She has to try something. Yeah, knight e4. Take, take. She has to take. And here uh, I was not sure if I have to take and play bishop e3 or bishop e3 immediately. Maybe it's possible to play like in this way. Yeah. Okay. But I was quite quite happy after capture. Bishop e3. Should be. She has to take. Uh take. Take. So we reach this it's end game, nearly yeah. an endgame. Well it's yeah. pretty much an endgame already. And you have an initiative here, don't you? Yeah, my king is and in the course. center, my bishop is strong. Yeah, this, the files. yeah, this bishop is, yeah. has got problems. She cannot move, yeah, this bishop. Yeah, bishop So the rook cannot move also. Yeah. And yeah. also this pawn is very strong, mm -hmm. this g5 pawn. It cramps the king side, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So should we skip a, later on in the game? Where would you like to go to? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, just here when she played oh. this, I played rook to one. And mm -hmm. I think this was the biggest mistake. Oh, okay. Rook I think she, sorry, yeah. she had to play bishop d7. Okay. And I wanted to play B4. And I was thinking like this kind of position. Take, 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 rook B1. And my idea is to come this way. Okay, chase after this yeah, yeah. A pawn here. Yeah. And my king is already coming. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's your king. If she moves so the rook, yeah, my king can come yeah. on C5. King is, is, is very key here, isn't it? Your king yeah, yeah. is already ready for action. It's yeah. my best piece, pieces, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's the key to your position, isn't it, that, that key? Um, okay, so she played rook e8, which is a bit passive. Yeah. And now do we want to jump to, maybe later in, there was some interesting yeah. move later in the game? Yeah, I don't know when. Should I jump, jump in at random? Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's try. <laughs> okay. I'll just make some moves. Tell me when to stop. 
Yeah, Bishop here, yeah. I think it's just winning for me. Yeah, this pawn is hanging. A pawn's hanging, yeah. Yeah. Your rooks are very good, your bishop's great. Yeah, I just played bishop d3. Yes. To straight b5. Yeah. Attacking goes, because my bishop was there, attacking g7. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a kind so of yeah, a double threat. This bishop threat. b3 was yeah. good move, I think. Right, so king f7 and b5, b5 and the bishop has to run yeah, back here. Here I was not sure how to finish. I played this. Bishop g6 is coming, so she has to play this. And here I wanted to play rook b8. Should be winning for me, yeah, g7. Mm -hmm. But I played rook, d, rook d5 and this rook taken. Ah, uh, yes. And then I have two pawn ups. And so the, no, it's over, yeah. I think she resigned here. Yeah. She resigned yeah. in that position. Nice game. Yeah. Good good Thank point you. for the for the boys. Yeah. Well played. Thank you. Thank you.